Welcome to another episode of the Consistent Creator. And in this episode, I want to talk about 900,000 being the average amount of money that the average person will have at retirement. Now, first of all, for me, 900,000, I don't feel like that's enough money for somebody to survive off of for the rest of their life. So, let's say, for example, for yeah, for 35 years. So, say for example, if you if you 65 and let's just say you live to 100. So, from 65 to 100, you have $900,000 to live off of. I mean, my personal opinion, I think everybody should have at least a minimum of a million dollars. And that's still very low. But it also depends on what type of lifestyle you want to live. I mean, you may be a type of person where you don't need a lot. So, yeah, if you don't need a lot... Then yeah, maybe you know maybe that may work out for you, in the sense that you know nine hundred thousand may work, but I feel like everybody has the potential to become millionaires. Now, what's going to make the difference is is whether you decide to educate yourself and become dedicated to becoming a millionaire. But for me personally, you know, um, I don't think that you know nine hundred thousand dollars is enough, and uh, this is based on you know. A good Facebook friend of mine, uh, Malcolm Tears the Second. So shout out to you, Malcolm. But you know he uh, he's a real estate investor and a real estate agent, and you know he has his company Invest here. So if you guys get a chance, you know go check him out. But uh, but yeah, he he mentioned this on a Facebook post, or I think it might have been a YouTube on his YouTube channel, and you know this is just me providing my commentary on it. But yeah, nine hundred thousand dollars. I don't think. You can spend nine hundred thousand dollars easy. I mean, that is that is just so easy. How you doing? That's just that's just so easy for you to spend. I mean, you can you can put your head down and look up, and you can spend nine hundred thousand dollars easy. So I feel like everybody has the potential to, like I said, at the bare minimum, have a hundred thousand. But this is also depending, like I said, it depends on how dedicated you are. Do you have mentors? Do you have coaches? What are your activities? What are your investing? What, what what is your income? What is your savings? How, how what are your expenses look like? You know what are your investments look like? It is a there's a lot of different things that go into becoming a millionaire. You know how consistent are you? But like I said, at the same time, but it, at the end of the day, it comes down to your goals. And you know I always say you know people make time for what's important to them. So if that's a priority for you, you would highly invest in that, whether that's you as a person or that's just in, you know, the financial concepts that you f- and strategies that you feel like you need in order to, you know, reach whatever financial retirement goal that you feel like is sufficient for you. But I say don't limit yourself at 900000 or even a million. I say go beyond that. I say it. it I say personally, I said strive for at least 10 million. Now I know some people might say 10 million dollars, that's astronomical. How am I gonna do that? Well, if you don't think that you're gonna make 10 million dollars at, at least net worth, then you won. Then that won't be for you. But if 10 million is too much, do five million, do two million. But whatever you do, at least do something. And hopefully that it ends up being more than 900,000. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to seeing another one. Simmons out.